I'm gonna do another pass. All right, today should be pretty fun. I have an ongoing relationship with Solar Scooters, formerly based out of the UK, but now they're in the US as well, so that's good news. Congrats to you guys. Thanks for sending me your products every time you release them. <laughs> today we're looking at the Solar FF Lite. You guys remember I reviewed the Solar FF, which was the craziest, stupid fast, electric scooter I've ever reviewed, but they just developed a brand new product called the Solar FF Lite, basically the FF de-steroided, and, that, and so that's what we're gonna take a look at today. Let's get this thing pulled out and freaking see what it looks like. And apparently this one has a steering damper, all kinds of stuff. It's a 60 volt, 23 AH battery. I think they said it does like 45 miles per hour and like a lot of range. I think they said like 40 miles of range, hold on. Yeah, they said around 40 mile range, so we'll see. We'll see. They told me also that the Solar FF had a better range, but I freaking maxed that sucker out. Only got like 15 or 16 miles out of it. So we'll see if this is a different story. Maybe I'm just going too hard on their products. <laughs> so anyway, let's get this thing out of the box and see what it looks like. See how good or how bad it is. Oh boy. Wow. That is some hardware. That is is some hardware. Every time I unbox their stuff, I'm always impressed. Literally every time. This is a problem of leverage. So this is not about me not working out. This is a problem of leverage here. This is a strange clamping mechanism, but I can respect it. Dude, I'm pumped. This thing is solid. Yeah, that'll work. It says the charges group should be aligned with the mm -hmm. charger hole. That's pretty obvious. It won't even go in, I don't think, without that. So I'm just gonna <laughs> go ahead and take the dummy sticker off here. No. I'm gonna take this off. It's like, wear a helmet. You're the one that is risking your own life riding this thing. Changes into launch mode, setting seven. I, apparently they told me to change to 23 and I am still figuring this out. To set it, you hold down the M button and then it'll set it, got it. Okay, so we should be on launch mode and I'm gonna push M, put it in sport mode. <laughs> oh man, am I ready for this? Am I, am I ready for this? Oh, what the freak? How do you turn on launch mode, dude? Maybe I need to actually reset the key for launch mode. A little bit anticlimactic there. No, still, man. What is? All right, anyway, I'll just figure that out when I get home. This is still my first ride, so I don't even know how this thing really rides. Maybe I just get comfortable with it first, and then we turn on launch mode. That's freaking smooth, dude. That steering damper, though. That's nice. I like that. Just puts in a straight line and keeps it there. That's freaking nice. I just need launch mode now. This is too easy. This is way too easy. Okay, so overall, first impressions are freaking nice. Hoo wee. These solar scooters, man, they are legit uh, the best in the game. I don't know. I have never really tested other high-end brand scooters, but these guys freaking rock. And I've tested a lot of their various scooters. Freaking good company. I can definitely stand behind these guys more than anybody else. Uh, but and there's and I mean their freaking scooters are way too impressive. Every time I jump on one of these things, I've had the P1 Pro, the FF, and now the FF Lite, and I think another one from them. Every time I jump on them, dude, I am mildly sketched out, but it's extremely thrilling. I'm sketched out, let me clarify, in the sense that I'm doing like 60 miles per hour on a scooter. Freaking fast. 34 it says we're going, feels about right. 
I can respect that. I can respect that. And because I'm a scooter, I can also access the pedestrian walkways. How about that? Even though I'm passing cars up on the freaking streets. All right, let's see how fast we can get this thing on this like really small, not even quarter mile strip here. The power is just like so, I, dude, I'm doing something wrong. This has to be like single motor or something. This can't be, this can't be all it has, but it's freaking smooth though. I'll tell you what, this thing's freaking smooth, straight as an arrow, not sketched out at all on this one. All right, let's see if we can't just figure out freaking launch mode right now, right here. All right, well, I just got home. I finally figured it out. I thought you just had to click it into like sport mode for it to be on like dual motor, but instead you actually have to hold down M. You guys can see that tiny little red icon disappeared next to the sport mode and it came back. We're on dual motor now, apparently. That's what I'm assuming it is. And silly me didn't get enough sleep last night, so <laughs> I need to actually set this how they told me to. So 20 is launch mode. I put it to zero instead of two. It's they said to put it on two for launch mode. So that's what it should have been. Hold down M to click that in. And then 21 is actually regen brake, which apparently is off by default. They said anywhere from five to 10. Okay, cool. We're apparently in launch mode, apparently on dual motor. My suspicions were confirmed we were only running on one motor <laughs> before with like the softest setting of power that we could have had. So disregard that whole first ride. All right, take two with this solar FF light. It still, ju it just doesn't feel like it should. I can't feel regen active either. Maybe it's just on brake because that did lock up the rear wheel when I did that. I am doing exactly as I was told. I am being a good ninja and doing exactly what I was told. What are you guys not telling me? Where is my launch mode? Okay, now I know that that is in insanely slow. I'm going to turn off that red icon. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm just going to... Oh, feather marker? Whoa, freak, we're good. We're good. Let's freaking send it, boys. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. Woo. Wow. That was it. Survey says the S button controls a tiny little icon. I'm not sure exactly what it does, but it's off right there. I think by default. But you push it again, and it shows. It's like a... I thought it was like a phone charging symbol or something but maybe it's a battery pack and giving it all the juice maybe that's what it means who knows but it gave it all the juice so that's all i care about all right, i'm gonna play a game with you guys really quick to show how fast this thing is see this tacoma right here freaking hauling down the road i'm just gonna go catch it that's right come here wow that's much faster see that's too easy i caught it I caught him. That was way too easy. All right, well, while I'm here, I'm gonna pull over. I'm gonna actually start that GPS one more time. See if, you know, see what we get on an actual top speed run. All right, so 37 miles per hour is the speed to beat. Let's see if we can beat it. The steering damper also, I got to mention, feels so nice. This is a like perfectly straight line if you want it to be in a straight line. And you can set it to however aggressive you want. If you don't want much assistance, you can literally just turn the knob on the steering damper and it makes it way easier. All right, I'm at full throttle. It says we're doing 52 on the speedometer. I'm probably doing about 40 if I had to guess, probably about 40. After this light, I will stop. I'm gonna just show you guys. All right, I'm tucked. This is as fast as I could get it. At 38.7, I'll call it 39 miles per hour is what we were hitting right there. But it doesn't feel like uncontrollable. That's the thing. Like the FF, the solar FF was so fast and freaking like no steering damper on it, whatnot. So like you could go as fast as you wanted, but you're needing to wear full gear. But like this one, I feel like I could just throw a backwards hat on, put some sunglasses, some headphones on and just freaking cruise. It does not feel like uncontrollable or like untamed in any regard but it's freaking fast when you need the power and i got 40 miles per hour which is in my opinion an awesome speed for around town whatnot obviously not going on the highway but like anywhere you need to go in town that's keeping up with traffic 
So, I mean, maybe that's all you would need. If this thing gets a decent range, you know, per charge, at full throttle, basically, um, that's honestly, for $2,000 for this freaking scooter is a steal if it gets those specs, man. It's way faster on sport mode. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> Consider me impressed. Regen braking does a great job. If you're not careful, it locks up the back wheel on you. <laughs> Don't mind me just driving in the traffic on my freaking scooter. Yeah, I just hit like five sewage holes. Nothing, dude. Bunch of freaking bumps on the road. Nothing. Easy. Easy. Yeah, the suspension, everything is great on this thing. Highly impressed. Highly impressed for two grand. For two grand, guys. Just buy it now. Legitimately just driving with traffic right now. For $2,000. And a super smooth ride. The freak. I'm like intentionally driving on all the bumps right now and there's like nothing. Big old crack in the road, nothing. Oh, sewage hole, boom, nothing. And then check this out, bike lane boy. Ooh, Tesla. How you doing? How you doing? Woo, all right, I chirped the tires there a little bit. Insanely quick, that's right, I just freaking smoked that Tesla. That guy's probably so embarrassed right now. I feel bad for you. I will let you pass. I will let you pass. You're welcome. Don't mind me. I'm just I'm just chilling here. What are you doing? What are you in sixth gear? This is like the world's roughest road. Like nothing. No sketchiness at all here. All right, I'm just going to take it on a range test and I will see you guys when I get back. It'll stop you. <laughs> Scooters and bikes, it definitely is faster to not lock up the wheels. Like yeah. it's faster to stop. Well, it's every vehicle. They don't have ABS. Yeah, you know? right, right, right. So you have to do it manually. Yeah, when I was stopping on it earlier, you could hear it start to squeak a little bit, but I was feathering it, so you didn't yeah. have that. Your brain has to be the ABS module. That's right, it's like you're back in the 1980s or some yeah. old dark ages. You have to know how to actually brake. Whoa, pump the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, the helmet's growing on me. Yeah. I, I should have been wearing them the whole time. Okay. But it's for safety first. And then I won't get the comment of people saying, wear a helmet for the kids. Wow. You're a bad influence for not wearing a helmet. Look at this, you're aging up and maturing. Yeah, it feels like I'm and like you, hate, you don't like haters, one of the two. kids already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that is the Solar FF Lite. Whew. What a freaking sweet scooter this is. Uh, so on the odometer right now we have, it says 22 miles, but with the actual uh, like discrepancy of the speedometer and the actual speed, probably right around 21 or so miles uh it's not dead yet it's probably on like 30 percent still but i'm not gonna kill it all the way i mean i already rode the say 22 miles just now and it's still i mean it says half charge right now but that's sitting voltage uh with battery sag it was one of five one of four bars so we're probably roughly at like 25 percent battery 30 percent battery so i probably would have seen about 30 miles on one charge yeah this is one of those scooters that you want to wear a helmet with um, just because you're going so fast, but it did not feel sketchy at all. With the steering damper, if you all bring them over here, Lord Kurt, 
I ha I had never. Did I mean, you show me? Did you show me it working at all yet? Not really. So it goes from lock to lock, and you guys can actually adjust it right here. You literally could just turn it up or down however hard you want it. Right it's there. Sweet. It's freaking sweet, and it's just like straight line, just. You know, doesn't there's no wobble at all. Even when you're hitting bumps and stuff, it just goes suspension just goes up and down. Your handlebars don't jolt around or whatever. I mean, there's there's really nothing bad I have to say about the scooter. Um, I feel like there was one tiny complaint that I had. Let's see what I got. Nah, even the horn works. And it does have turn signals too. It has functioning turn signals. If you're actually a underglow, this. I did see some underglow when yeah. it was in the garage. Really good looking scooter, and this thing is freaking solid. I mean, every single part is just. This I will well say, made. I saw it in the garage before he did the review, and I thought that's got to be one of their flagship models. That's got to yeah. be four grand. It's got to be. And I pulled it up just and on the website. It was two grand at that moment in time. Yeah. And I was like, there are things way less quality way less performance that cost twice that much yeah 100 percent, dude i was telling them for, when i was riding this thing around i was like for two grand just buy it right now like you get you get like city speeds you're keeping up with traffic wherever you want to go you'll probably get 30 miles at full throttle right you could have doubled that it probably would have done 50 miles or so if i had you know gone conservative or like you know, didn't tune it to be maxed yeah. outfit all the time. Yeah, build quality, you have portability, and you have performance. Yeah. I mean, realistically, yeah, it's heavy. The FF was clearly heavier. Like, it had deeper battery tray, it weighed more, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah, that thing was huge. But man. this one you could fold and put in a trunk if you needed to. Yep. Easily. A lot more easier than you could with a folding bike, let's say. Yeah. The only thing that's better on a bike is you can pedal, but you hate to pedal an e bike without any battery because it's so much more difficult to pedal it. Right. Yep, 100%. I think if I were in the, I mean, obviously I've got that longboard. That longboard, I love. This has better performance and better build quality than the longboard does. And yeah. that's a similar price. I know. Yeah, it feels like it should be priced higher for what you're getting, you know? I mean, just looking at it, I, it's on camera, it's hard to tell like how big it is. You know, on camera it looks small and like cool, but small. I mean, it is, it's very portable, but it nothing about it is undersized. It's, yeah full-fledged but like it it's just it looks thick in person and it feels yeah. like a heavy-duty piece of equipment that should be more than two thousand dollars for what you're getting you're getting like 40 to 45 miles per hour and a lot of range yeah. this is an easy commuter choice you know not if you're to gonna say, buy an e-bike you might as well just buy this right not to say two grand's specs. cheap but in the market two grand is cheap for yeah. comparative pricing yeah 100 percent. and so assumption being you're looking to spend two grand on something this is the best way to spend two grand on an electric vehicle yeah and it's programmable and whatnot like you have the program settings you can turn on and off launch mode you can uh tune the curve of power if you want to in the settings turn regen on or off you can turn regen more aggressive and just i mean overall you can't really beat a solar scooter and plus at least mine did come with a steering damper. I've never had that before. And they have instructional videos for all that stuff. A lot of the other freaking scooters and e-bikes and stuff, you just get them and they're in some Chinese user manual and you can't figure anything else. You know, you can't figure it out. Or if you do figure it out, it's because you are smart and you just figure it out. <laughs> Solar is just a good company. They always have been. I reviewed the Solar FF, the Solar P1 Pro. And I feel like we had, I think I, I don't know. I can't remember. I think that was it. And then this one, the Solar FF Lite. And this one, dang. This is probably my favorite one. It just, it doesn't feel untamed. Like when the P1 Pro, it feels untamed when you hit the throttle, just like, you know, on launch mode, it just freaking sends it. This on launch mode, it's like still really quick, but it's not like an aggressive jolt and whatever. And it's got the steering damper. So right when you hit the throttle, it just goes perfectly straight. The P1 Pro, it gets all light on the front end and whatever. Yeah. Yeah, the angle of the front wheel, I think, and the wheelbase width is different enough that it makes it not feel as twitchy probably because i would assume yeah. the power is the same right just riding this back down yeah it, it feels very similar as far as like actually riding it top speed it's pretty much the same just riding it down the driveway again i remember how like it doesn't and this is their old version i think the p1 pro actually has been updated since i got this several years back a couple years back um but like the front end you can tell is just it just does not feel the same as this like it just feels so much like so yeah and the blended. movement that you're seeing do that like again shake unit. that again 
shake it again. The movement that you're seeing is the compression of the front shock. Yep. There's not wiggle to it. Yeah, so this you can tell actually kind of like the handlebar clamping, like you can hear it too. Yeah. Um, like it doesn't, it's not sketchy, but it definitely feels sketchier than this when you're riding on this at top speed. This one feels like a, an actual vehicle. There's not a whole lot of scooters out there like the Solar FF, um, big brother to this one. It felt like an actual vehicle too, but it feels like a, like this P1 Pro, it feels like a scooter. Like you don't want to ride too fast on it just in case you hit a bump too hard or something happens, you know? Yeah, the this one, like, shocks on this concerned. are so much better. Yeah, and that's like, such a cool front. Like when I was riding this one, um, I was intentionally hitting manholes and sewage vents and all kinds of crap just to like, just because I could, you know? And it feels like an actual vehicle. It doesn't feel like I shouldn't be on the road with cars and stuff. It feels like I, it's, you know, like almost a motorcycle type feel to it. Then I'll bring this one over here. This is some competition solar. You guys better up the game a little <laughs> yeah. bit here. All right. What's the cost on so that this one? This is an Emmy Hill UM2 electric scooter, 15 miles per hour. It did like roughly, I think, 15 or 16 miles. At that speed. At, at full throttle, 15 miles per hour. And maybe this one did 18, I can't remember. 900 bucks. 900 bucks, about yeah. half as much. Only about half as much as the Solar FF Lite. And we so. just, the only thing this has on it is the center stand. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and a removable battery pack. But. Wow. No, it's just, they're in such different classes. It's like comparing a Honda Civic to a Lexus, uh, not even a Lexus. Or an like, Aston Martin. Yeah, I mean, something, something, that's, Jaguar. something that's clearly, price category shouldn't be similar. Yeah. Yet it's only 100% more. For sure. <laughs> now I'm gonna impress the viewers real quick, watch this. Am I going fast? Is this fast? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, you could get a 15 mile an hour e-scooter for 900 bucks or you can get the four freaking Solar FF Lite that does like four or five times the spec yeah. for twice as and much. And let alone, this is a brand that no one's heard of. Yes. Whereas if it were like a Bird rocks. or some other more common 15 mile an hour scooter that people use for like the... right urban commuting it probably would cost over a thousand maybe closer to 1500 for sure. at that point you get the name brand quality well solar is in it's, the US it's england it's, it's, it was yeah, england yeah. originally right yeah but they just came to the u.s so they okay, now nice. have a u.s operation nice. as well it's, so i mean it's it's local now overseen by a western society whether correct. that be england or correct <laughs> the u.s no name chinese right they slap in some labels on it with quality that you can actually feel and see yeah and they i mean they respond to dms so fast and they're so helpful and they're just good guys you just, I mean, they have their own YouTube channel. I'll even maybe link them down below, maybe, if I'm feeling generous. Okay. <laughs> and they also post informational and instructional videos on everything you need to do. If there's a setup related thing, they usually have a video about it. And if they don't, they'll make a video for you about it. And then they'll just post it. Yeah. But anyway, that's the Solar FF Lite. Thanks again, Solar, for sending this out to me. It's okay. It's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> um, and if you guys do want to check it out, they might even have Black Friday sales. I'm not sure. We'll see. Or Christmas sales. Who even knows? Um, but there's a link below to the Solar FF Lite. Definitely my favorite scooter. The FF was cool and crazy, but this one feels like tame, but also so powerful. It feels like, you know, I don't know, a Rolls Royce of the of scooters, you know, where it's insanely fast, but it's also super luxurious and comfortable and not sketchy at all. 2000 bucks, you guys pick one up for yourself? I don't know if they'll have any discount codes or not. In the, try <laughs> try Ninja them. 10 and see if it works. Try Fuck. Ninja 10 and then like Season <laughs> 10 and then <laughs> Xmas 10. <laughs> <laughs> or just install Honey. Yeah. See what it does. Well, we're not sponsored. Oh, that's right. No, 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 no Honey. No, no Honey on this one. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Solar, for sending me the FF light. Uh, that's it. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,